Hiya. So I'm doing another um, technique that I read about in one of my books. Uh, this time it is from the, no, not surface treatment. Sorry, I'm pulling the wrong book. It is from this one. It's the same people. That's why I got confused. It's the Image Transfer Workshop book. And the one that I'm going to use now on my journal page is this iron-on sheets to do my transfer because I'm having the worst luck with doing inkjet transparency transfers. So, um, yeah, I already tried this out because I've been having such horrible luck. I've already tried this technique out uh, just a little bit ago on another journal page um, because I just wanted to make sure that it worked before I did this recording. So, and it did. It turned out great. Now, of course, I say that. And now I'm going to do this one, and it's going to turn out like crap. So <laughs> that's the way my luck goes. But anyway, um, in this book, they talk about just using any of the iron-on uh, transfer sheets that you get from, like, an office supply store or whatever. But I um, had actually ordered from Amazon Leslie Riley's transfer artist papers, her transfer sheets. And, um, so I used that instead. So I had printed to my inkjet printer, uh, two images, um, that I, sorry, I, I don't know where my train of thought just went. <clears throat> uh, I have my windows open and I'm hearing my neighbors, so I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, um, so I... You want to get the most that you can out of an eight and a half by eleven sheet. So I printed two images to the one piece of paper and cut this in half and did the other uh, transfer in an earlier journal page. So this is what I have left and this is what I'm going to use on this page right here. So now I'm just going to lay out my background colors on my page here. Um, this is unprimed 140 pound watercolor paper. This is the um, <sighs> visual journal Strathmore yeah Strathmore visual journal so it's 140 pound uh, watercolor paper and so I did not put any gesso on it at all it is just uh, unprimed and <clears throat> uh, because I had such horrible luck with using uh, the inkjet transparency transfers doing it on backgrounds that had acrylic paint on it um, I decided um, that I was just going to use like watercolor colors or like the sprays. So um, I may bite the bullet and just go ahead and, and try to do some acrylic paints and see how that turns out later. But I've just been so disappointed with the way that those have come out lately that I didn't want to waste a sheet. Because these are kind of expensive. Um, I think a sheet, a pack of five, I think I paid... I want to say ten dollars on Amazon.com, ten or eleven bucks on Amazon. So, um, yeah. So it's you know not as expensive as the inkjet transparencies because I think I paid like fifty or sixty dollars for that box, but you get fifty you know transparency sheets. So um, the math works out better on those. Um, okay, so here we go. I pulled out some Lindy Stamp Gang colors. I have got um, Bayou Boogie Gold, Ethereal Emerald, Violaceous Violet, and Red Hot Poker Orange. So I'm going to start out with some of the lighter colors. And I'm going to do like a gradient, I guess, just going across the page here. Um, the problem is because when I bought this uh, graphic, off of an Etsy. It was an Etsy store that I bought this from. And um, I got it in the sepia instead of the black. So this is a sepia color. So my colors on this page can't be really dark or this won't show up. So I got to be real careful with that. So we're going to start here with Red Hot Poker Orange. Shake my bottle up. Really good. And I love Lindy Stamp Gangs. I think they have the prettiest spray colors of all the manufacturers out there. The only thing I don't like 
is their sprayers. They clog up all the time. I think I may have mentioned that on another video, but it's so frustrating when you love something so much, but, and like that one just started to feel a little, like it was starting to clog up on me. Shaking these up real good. Yeah, see? God dog it. Okay, this one's totally clogged up on me now. It won't spray. Oh, so annoying. <coughs> okay. Guess I'm moving on. So this is the Ethereal Emerald. Okay. And then this is the Violaceous Violet. Yeah, this one's spraying crappy too. I'm not happy right now. None of these, only two of the four sprays came out okay. All right, I'm gonna try this Jack in the Pulpit Teal just to introduce another color. Okay, now I'm going to dry it, so I'll be back so you guys don't have to hear the dryer. Okay. Good and dry. So... Get this ready. All right, I'm just getting this ready for when I have to do the iron on here. Okay, so I'm gonna put my tabletop ironing board right here. And I'm just using my regular iron. This is just a regular home appliance iron. And I am Gonna make sure this is totally flat. And the other thing you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna get off as much of the, cut around your image as much as possible. Cause it does leave a little, you know, kinda like a little residue, so. I'm sorry you'll have to watch me do this. I just cannot figure out the editing feature on my software or on my camcorder either for doing like high speed recording and stuff. I did, I hit high speed recording on my camcorder and it's like in slow motion. So I, yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> so yeah, so unfortunately, sorry. Okay, so. I'm going to flip this over, kind of put it where I think I want to center it on my page. Now there's a silicone sheet that comes in this artist paper pack, so I am going to put that right here <clears throat> since I am ironing onto paper. So, and this is on the highest setting, this is on the highest heat setting. Steam is off. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we're going to go here. I'm just going to iron over this. And continue to iron over this. For a good couple of minutes. So, I will be back. 
Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes now. I've just been constantly moving this all over the paper. You don't want to let it sit for too long of a time. So I'm still going to keep the iron on for because I'm going to keep that iron on because I may have to come back if I start to pull this up and um, some of the image hasn't come up. So I'm using tweezers. Ooh. Wow, that's really stuck on there. Because if the image wasn't, if you pull this up and you notice some of the image is, is still stuck to the transfer, you can put it back down and iron it. But it looks like this image came out great. I, I gotta tell you guys. Awesome! Love it. You can't really see the script. There's like script all in the background. You can't see it very well. You really needed just a white background for that to show up. But there is the image transfer. I love the way these are turning out. Such a better success rate with this than I had with those inkjet transparencies. So awesome so yeah i would definitely suggest i guess the next thing i need to do is get the less expensive um iron-on transfer sheets from the office supply store and see if those work just as good as these transfer artist paper um you know transfer sheets so that'll be the next thing so anyway yeah yay love it now i'm gonna also have to test that on acrylic paint and see if that comes out good all right, so now I gotta go to the next step. So I gotta figure that out and I'll be back. Okay, so I have a few things out here. One of them um, is my Prima border stencils. And I think I am gonna use this top one here. And I also have my Distress Ink in Rusty Hinge and my foam applicator tool because I think what I'm going to do is ugh, these are hard to work with because they're all connected but okay hmm whoops can't be too twisty with these because it's moving around too much so hopefully that's okay Because my image, I'm not going to go all the way around on that because it's going into my transfer image. So I'm going to be kind of careful where I'm putting this. Ah, shoot, it moved. Urgh. Okay, I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. So, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same down here. Or am I? Hmm. I don't know if that's too much. Eh, what the heck. Just do it. Just go with it.
Ugh. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize I was off camera doing that, you guys. Okay, there we go. Now, ooh, I'm inky now. Okay. Put that up. Alright, now, I think what I'm going to do first, because I don't want this ink that's on top of this to go to waste, what I'm going to do is spray that with a little bit of water. And I'm going to put some of the clean off in my, clean it off in this journal that I use for clean off. So I'm not wasting it. Yay. Okay. Now. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, let me get this back in frame now. Okay, and then what I think I'm going to do is pull out, pulled out one of my stamp binders. Because I think I'm going to use Beautiful Abundance in here. So, I'm going to have a couple of just words on this. I think I'm gonna use the timber brown since I have the sepia tone on um, that image transfer. I'm gonna grab a um, stays on ink and timber brown because I think that'll go pretty good with that. Now where to put it? Go across the... I'm going to beautiful up here in abundance down here, so... Okay, clean off my stamp. Okay, now I think just to finish it off, I, I think I'm just going to use a gelato and Hmm. How green would look. Um, I want to frame this out. I don't. I. I don't. I just frame out a lot of my journal pages. I don't know why I feel the need to do it, but I do. Um. So I'm just trying to figure out now what color. Uh, that'll be too matchy. Matchy, matchy. God, dog it. I don't know what color to go with. They have some of this teal, blue, greeny color, but God, I need the new gelato colors that came out just a month or two ago. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to like this color or not.
Okay, yeah, I may like that. Okay. Well, I guess I could have looked at my portfolio colors too before I did this and committed to the gelatos. When I'm framing out, I like using either the gelatos or the um, those really inexpensive portfolio oil pastels. There is my page. I'm very extremely happy with the way that image transfer turned out. So all I'm going to do now to finish this off is um, I'm going to top it with a workable, work, workable fixative. Um, so because I have a lot of stuff that's running that's running on here. So I'll set it with this and then put a um, date tag on it and it'll be done. So tap leslie riley's tap definitely recommend awesome i'll see you guys later